Okay, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm a historian of modern China. Basically, I do anything to do with modern China, from Jews to drugs um, to um, food. And um, I just completed a project on the Great Famine, and I'm also interested in healthcare in Mao's China. So um, anyway, last night some of you had the chance to sample London Chinatown's version of a med a medical food, um, Chinese medical food. And today I'm going to talk about po popularization of medical foods in um, from actually from late 20th century China. So in 2005, therapeutic foods or Yao San um, uh, in Chinese, which literally, I can't get this to work. Okay, Just it's fine, yeah. This one, right, okay, through. yeah. Yao Sang in Chinese, which literally translates as medical food, um, was reported one of the most fashionable cuisines in major Chinese cities. Suddenly, a great number of people, young and old, middle class or salary only mass, wanted to eat healthy and light food and do more exercise. So a popular saying that year was, if you take me out for a meal, please take me to a Yao Sang restaurant. Sichuan in southwest of China, as you can see, um, well, okay, um, is known for its spicy local cuisine and the provincial capital Chengdu, um, which you can see on the map, is the Sichuan's food capital here. Um, here food is the most glorified subject and chili, we just heard about a lot, and Sichuan pepper is, um, are the most important spice of local life and the soul of local people. And some people told me they've never seen Sichuan pepper before, so I bought a few for you. For those of you who want to long their tongue, you can try it. And Sichuan pepper is also used as um, um, medicine. It was um, used for cure rheumatism and also as insect repellent as well. <coughs> so China's first Yao San restaurant, Yu San Gong, um, was opened in Chengdu in the early 1980s. At the time, it, it was boast, um, it boasted to serve imperial Yaosan recipes, which were kept in the form of Forbidden City, in, which includes a deer banquet with um, dishes um, made of deer's penises and fetuses. In the early days, the main client of Yu San Gong were government officials, as well as Japanese and overseas Chinese tourists. And in 1989, it was appointed by the local government as an official cultural heritage restaurant for overseas visitors. Local Chinese rarely ventured such a place. But this was to change in the next 20 years. By the early part of 21st century, it became a popular destination for the locals. The high demand also led to it to open several branches in the same city and throughout China. <laughs> And in 2005, according to a local survey in Chengdu, nearly 96% of those who took part in the survey regarded Yao San, the best cuisine, and 80% of them had consumed it at least once. And when asked why Yao San enjoyed such popular status, literally all interviewees agree that health benefit was the primary reason. And many of them believed that Yao San was the most fundamental in keeping healthy. And they also mentioned that compared to other food, Yao San is exceptional with unique characteristic. So that year in Chengdu, more than 100 restaurants, small and big, all started serving medicinal hot pots. By medicinal, it means the hot pot stock is made of various Chinese herbal medicines in addition to the usual spice. And the three renowned Yao San restaurants in the city were booked out every night. Countless publications appeared in bookshops and um, people's show bookshelves, and a huge number of Yaosan websites emerged in cyberspace. However, medical food is not a recent phenomenon in China. For centuries, people in China have learned to treat various illnesses and to keep healthy with food. 
As a popular saying goes, food is more nourishing than medicine, and it is better to treat illness with food than medicine. Talking to any grandmother on the street, she would be able to tell you that drinking a, a drink made of ginger, spring onion, and dark brown sugar is good for common colds, and a boiled soup of hen millet and roast sesame seeds can help a pregnant woman to regain her strength after giving birth. Although many claim that Yaosan practice had suffered under Mao, especially during the Cultural Revolution period, my own research on the Great Famine and on healthcare in Mao's China shows the opposite. Due to shortage of food and lack of medical care, ordinary people revived old remedies to try to keep themselves alive, to cope with hunger, and to stay healthy. Many actively went out into the mountains to look for herbs and plants to fill their stomachs and to treat various ailments. Leaves of the scholar trees and cast oil plants, young stems from trees of heaven and hemp plants are just a few examples of what people consumed. Besides plants, people also consumed earth, insects, worms, animal dung, human hair and human flesh. During the time of the famine, local governments also encouraged people to rediscover traditional hunger coping recipes. And obviously, in post Mao China, those uh, the need to combat hunger seems no longer an issue, and many of these hunger coping recipes did not disappear. However, and for instance, carrot congee and wild herb congee. Uh, were two popular famine foods at the time um, because by adding water, vegetable and herbs the rice would last longer and stomach will feel um, full quicker. But today people consume carrot cat and congee to prevent high blood pressure and wild herb congee to nourish the yin qi. So now appeared as yao san or as health foods and um, this famine um, recipes that have acquired new meanings and new social functions. So um, what um, makes Yao San different from everyday food is that it is often um, processed and cooked by adding medical herbs, minerals and animal parts. It claims to be able to heal and to keep one healthy. And Yao San also claims to be able to make medicine taste delicious, thus palatable to majority of people. However, the boundaries between food and medicine have never been very clear. One of the principles of Yao San is food and medicine are one. Turn to listen 16th century material medica. One finds a long list of food items. Oh, sorry. Long list of food items assigned medical properties from vegetables to fruits, grain, shells and fish, poetry and animals, and even human <coughs> substances. So take chicken, for example, which is very common sort of poetry. Material Medica recommends using different types of chicken to treat different illnesses. So a kanji made of meat from white feather rooster can treat madness. A stew of yellow feathered chicken and a zuka bean can help in reduce inflammation. And a black chicken stew or soup is good for recovering after major illness.